Hello, Paul here. I want to show you quickly three things in the professional plan for Teachable. How you can create uh, graded quizzes for course compliance and then do a completion certificate at the end of it. So we're going to create a couple of uh, lectures, add a quiz, say that you've got to complete each lecture in order, and then we're going to, we're going to issue a certificate if this person passes the graded quiz. All right? So first things first, we'll just set up a test test course so all i've done is click this button i don't want you to see my dashboard i've just clicked test uh, course plus button right so i'm just going to do uh let's just do teachable example uh subtitle i'm not going to do just i'm just going to whip through creating a course you probably know how to create a course right it's going to take me two lessons so i'm going to create a lesson i'm going to create three lessons uh if I I may tag on at the end a video uh, and add a video lesson where it shows you've got to show you've got to watch a certain amount of the video before you can go through it. So let's go lesson one, lesson two, and then publish that and lesson lesson three, right? Lesson well, let's just call it exam. So here's what here's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna add the um quiz for uh, the exam right so all i'm going to do is add a quiz so you're probably used to adding a quiz or you may not may or may not be and this is where if you're going to grade it and say you've got to pass a certain amount to get through you need to tick this right if you set the quiz to graded mode students will have one chance to take it and their scores will be saved and factored into your quiz reports so you can change it to, to more than one so i'm going to tick that this is a graded quiz uh questions let's just do something stupid on wikipedia right let's go to wikipedia random article i don't know about that oh no walter johnson uh alive in december uh london kings right say so let's say let's go back here uh where did walter Jobson, isn't it? Looking at that. Um, Liv, uh, Hull, Sheffield, um, Manchester. I know it says it said Kingston on something, didn't it? Add question, right? So that adds the question. Let's have a look else. Um, uh, let me close this because it's going to show. What? was Walter's wife called um, Lisa was the answer Elizabeth Elizabeth Mary Sue sounds like a band and you just tag the one that's right um, Add question. What uh, job did Walter do? Let's go, doctor, <laughs> plumber, mayor. This one's right, right? So you've created your, you've created your three questions. What I've done is three, four. Is we're going to say you've got to get so many of them right and publish. If I preview it. It's going to come up here. Where did Walter Jobson leave? Live. Full. Check. Continue. What's Walter White call? Elizabeth. Check. Continue. And what did Walter do? What did I say? Mayor. Check. Continue. Right? You scored one out of three. So that was pretty impressive that I created the course and got two of the questions wrong. Uh, Hull. All right. There's two options here. Let me edit this. All oh, right, so when I, when I selected the other one, I didn't deselect the one that it offered me first. So that's why. Still right, though, wasn't it? Right, okay, so that's good that I tied it and got it wrong. So uh, add a price. Obviously, you can put a price on your course. We're going to do this one for free because I'm going to go through a full test of how to do it. When you come to your course information, you're going to go down here now and see here, course compliance. Enforce lecture order. So if they've got to do it in one at a time lectures, 
In forced video watching, students must view 90% of a video to advance, all right? And forced grade completion. So what we're going to say that people must get right. So I've got three questions, aren't we? So let's say you've got to get more than 60% uh, right. And how many retakes can you do? So if you do get it wrong, I'll give you three retakes. I mean, it's three questions. So again, you can say, when it said you've got one shot at it, you can actually say here, maximum number of retakes. Uh, and then change it, completion, change it, and save. So now if I preview and go down, it should say, lecture. yeah, we got locked. So lecture content locked if you're already enrolled. All right. Uh, it hasn't automatically enrolled me, as I So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through. Um, in fact, let me, let me just to go through it properly so we can enforce this video watching. You see where it says enforce 90% of a video. Let me add a really quick video to that first lesson. I'll do the second lesson. And then we can go through with the whole thing, right? So I should have on my account, let's choose a video. So this is like, I do a lot of YouTube videos. Obviously this is something you're gonna have to host on Teachable to um, to show it. Uh, da, 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 da. This one's probably a short video, isn't it? Let's have a look, I'm looking for a short video. Uh, it's time. Yeah, let's do this one. Upload. So you upload a video. So you've got to upload the video. You can't embed a video. Otherwise, um, Teachable won't know how long it's been viewed for. So it's got to be one of the videos that's that's actually active on your site. Not something you've embedded from Vimeo or you've embedded it from YouTube. It's quite a long video, actually. Let me just uh, pause you while that uploads. Right, so what I've actually done is I've just uploaded the intro to this video because it's quicker, smaller file. Upload complete. It's going to take a little bit to process it, but it should show once that's uploaded. So we've got a lesson one. We're going to complete lesson two. Once it's processed, it's going to show there it's coming now. And then we've got a test. Right, so next what we need to do is add the certificate to finish. Hello, right. Paul here. I want to... I'll uh, turn the volume down. So that's going to play that video. So it's, uh, it's not very long, I don't think. So, right, so now what we need to do is add the certificate. So once lesson one's completed, lesson two's been watched, lesson three, the exam, we're going to add certificate here. So we're going to create a certificate. You can pick one of these templates, or you can create it yourself. I'm just going to pick this one. You're going to create it. You can edit it. You can upload an image. I haven't got any images set. Um, I don't think that are going to be... I haven't got any any offhand, or I can't remember where I kept them, but you can change the logo at the top. You can change the logo at the bottom. You can change information. Certificate of graduation. Certificate of completion. Awarded to. Uh, graduating date. And again, you can add an image down here. I should have got them ready for you, but um, I can't remember where I saved them. So I'm going to finish it and activate it. So now we've got a certificate and we've got our content. So I'm going to log in in a different browser and go through this course. So let's fly through it. Let me, have I published that course? Yes, I have. So teachable example. If I go in this browser, go to my website, go to all courses down the bottom is the teachable example. I'm going to see lesson one, lesson two is 27 seconds. Then there's an exam, right? So I'm going to enroll in this course for free. Uh, Paul test. Paul, I always put the time in if I'm doing a. Because you imagine I've done this a lot of times on the course. Add a password. Add another. Do you want to receive? People never tick this. Um, now the GDPR Mex has forced people to tick it. So I'm enrolled in the course. Oh, my little Beamer wants to get involved. And I'm into the first lesson, right? So we enforced that you can't go to second because the first, your previous lesson hasn't gone, right? I put adverts on my training just because it's all free. 
I may remove this. So you, you know, I don't think people who are pay a, a, a selling courses would want adverts, but I do it for um, because my training's free. Uh, so lesson two you can't go to because you haven't completed lesson one. So you go through lesson one, complete and continue. You go to lesson two. Now we're going to go to the exam. Your previous lesson hasn't been completed, right? So now I'm going to go here and look, you're, you you must complete all lecture material before processing. So this is now saying you've got to, this will not let you continue until 90% of this video Hello. is watched, right? So let's see if it automatically comes up on 27 seconds, right? Sorry, about 20 seconds, isn't it? It's going to allow me to, to forward once I've watched 90% of this video. So you've got to stick around. You've got to show that you've been in the video. And it still hasn't. There. So it, I guess with a shorter video, it waited to the end. But now I can complete it. Now it knows I've watched this video. I can complete and continue. And I'm into my questions, aren't I? Where did Walter... So let's get it wrong, right? So let's... Like I did last time. So let's check. Well, you got it wrong. Uh, is Elizabeth right? I think it is, isn't it? Let's go Mary. So Mary's wrong, and then we'll put plumber. So it's going to say, you've got three out of three. You can retake this quiz three times, right? You need a score of at least 60 to continue. You may retake, retake this t uh, quiz three more times. So let's retake it and try and get it right. Hull, uh, Elizabeth, and Maya. So I'm, I'm now going to get the score right, and it's going to activate that I've completed the course. Your score is, your, you scored complete. When I go complete and continue, congratulations, and there's a certificate that we created. And you can download the certificate. You're going to get an email to say your certificate is has come. So this is um, email to me. This is email you confirm. You are now enrolled. Um, and here is your certificate. So you you have been issued a certificate for completing, and when you click it, it's, oh, it's going to be um, it's going to be the wrong uh, different link. So if I copy this link here, copy link, uh, and go yeah here, we know we're already there. If I go there again from the link on that video, it's going to take me direct to the certificate. So hopefully, I showed you how to quickly i know it was a little bit jumbled i didn't really plan uh, ahead too far with this video you know how to quickly set up a course how course compliance was all down to um this one here enforce lecture order enforce video watch so we have to watch at least 90 percent of the video before you go through and enforce the graded score being at least 60 percent correct and um, you get free retakes only. There is then reporting that you can see someone's been through it. You can see the quiz scores. So exam 44% average, uh, total completed three. I don't think that's exactly brilliant, that report. Example, average score 44%, uh, minimum score, maximum scores 100, and total completed. So three people have done it. And I think I got one question right. No questions right and and a hundred. So yeah, so the minimum score was when I got all wrong, and the maximum score when I got all right. And then the the first test was somewhere in the middle, wasn't it? So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's simple enough. Dive in, ask me questions. I've got a training course. If you come to my website, um, paulnicholson.com, I'm gonna add this all to the teachable training. Where is it? Here it is. Teachable, I've had this lesson. I've got other questions, other lessons. Um, obviously, I've got a teachable training course, so it's all teachable videos. So come and join me. Any questions, if you're on YouTube, fire away. If you're in my training, just drop it in the comments. I'll always try and help you. Hope this helps. Cheers, guys.